What if the man you were in love with started disappearing at night, coming home smelling like perfume and bringing back mysterious blonde hairs? Well, on today's case, Miss Sylvia says she's no fool and she knows that late night strange scents and foreign follicles can only mean one thing. Her man is up to no good. Mr. Pierce says there's a perfectly reasonable explanation for everything. And if Ms. Sylvia would put half as much effort into their relationship as she does in investigating him, they'd be the happiest couple on the planet. So is Ms. Sylvia on the right track or is there more to this mystery? Let's hear their case. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Starr presiding. Your Honor, this is the case of Sylvia versus Pierce. Thank you very much. Ms. Sylvia and Mr. Pierce. Ms. Sylvia, you say that for the last eight years, you've put up with your fiance's disappearing acts and alcoholic tendencies. You say if Mr. Pierce doesn't work on his issues, the engagement is off. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Pierce, you are here today for one reason and one reason only, to save your relationship. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, so let's get into it because you all have been together for eight years, engaged for three years. I understand you even lived together for the last four years. So half of the time you've been living together, except two weeks ago, all hell broke loose. How did we get here, Miss Sylvia? Well, I brought Todd, my fiance, here today because I believe our relationship is over at this point. I've had it. Um, I'm tired of his lying, his cheating, his disappearing acts, and his drinking. You're just done, it sounds I am like. I'm pretty done, yes. Mr. Pierce, Miss Sylvia says it's enough already. What do you say? I came here today because I want to save the relationship. Mm -hmm. I think that there's still something there to hold on to. Um, we need to work on our engagement, and we need to work on our communication, but I'm here because I want the accusations to stop, I want the suspicion to stop, and I, I want to clear my name. Well, you know what? I tell you what. I'm not sure um, if we're going to resolve everything, but we certainly will get to the bottom of it. How's that? Miss Sylvia, you say disappearing acts are really at the core of what started this downward spiral. Explain to me what happened. Well, um, Todd recently had his hours cut. And he was moping around the house and sleeping on the couch all day instead of getting out and trying to find more work. And so I thought, what would bring us back to a time when we were happier was we used to like to take road trips and travel. So we spent um, some time planning a road trip. We rented a car. It was supposed to be 12 days going out west. And we started out on that trip. And I, Todd was driving. And about halfway down to New Mexico, he turned around and went home without even saying a word to me. He just turned the car around and we went home. And then he disappeared for about eight hours and wouldn't answer his phone. Okay, Mr. Pierce, you have to help me with this. How did the road trip go awry? Well, it started off fine, but uh, as things went along and we started to try and talk, the arguments starting and the suspicions of the old things that she think, thinks that she's sure about started coming out. Then, I'm driving too slow. I'm driving too fast. I shouldn't be behind the big truck. Oh, go around this little car. You missed an exit. Are you gonna go there? I have to go to the, I mean, I couldn't handle it. I couldn't handle 12 days of that. So you said, I will turn this car around and we will go back home. Because if I gotta be room. miserable, I'd rather be in my own house and be miserable. <laughs> That's right. So Miss Sylvia, how do y'all get there? Because the road trip is one, example, but I don't consider that disappearing act. I think that there was a real problem. There Were there other instances of disappearing? Oh, yes. One night, I wanted to invite him to come to a paint night with me, paint and wine. Was that something he was interested in? I don't think he's as interested in art as much as I am, no. Okay. So, so you invited him to do something. Did he agree to come? He did agree to come, and I was really looking forward to it. And he showed up about 20 minutes late, and I could tell he'd been drinking, and he made a beeline for the wine bar and kind of poured a few down real fast. And then he disappeared after, like, 20 minutes, and he was gone. So what's this about, Mr. Pierce? Because that doesn't sound very kind. 
She, first of all, she didn't even ask me if I wanted to go. She mentioned that there were friends going and that they were bringing their significant others, but then she told me maybe an hour before, we're late, we gotta get there, and I had no choice but to go with her. You know, I got a call from a friend and I went to his house after because I've had enough of her treating me like I'm a suspect, like, like I'm but the But wait a minute, Mr. Pierce. It's one thing to get in an argument in the middle of a road trip and say, you know what, I'm willing to be bothered with all of this. It's another thing to agree to go out on a date night with your significant other, meeting friends. I don't care if it's something that you wanted to do or something she wanted to do. If you agree to do it, you show up. I understand you showed up, but then you're gonna leave in the middle of it? How do you think that made her feel? I mean, seriously. I'm sure that it hurt her and I did it to make a statement because I so wanted... So you wait, 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 wait. You did it to make a statement. Yes. Which means you did it on purpose. I decided at that point that I was going to leave instead of staying and being, being embarrassed, yes. Okay, what made you feel embarrassed? The things that she was telling. You know, she, she's telling people that I'm drunk and this is like a long line You were of wasted, Todd. I was not wasted. I had a couple of drinks. A friend dropped me off, okay? I don't drink and drive. So the fact that I may have had a couple of drinks, I was having a good time. I was having fun. There's nothing wrong with that. I wasn't being belligerent. I wasn't being angry. You I wasn't were acting out. Was he acting out, Mrs. Sylvia? He was spilling the paint. I mean, he was a couple sheets, two sheets under the wind or... I was having fun, I was having fun. I was playing, I was being silly and I knocked over some paint. I'm sure everyone's done it. It's not Okay, Miss Sylvia, what's, what's the real deal? Cause now that's paint night. And you're right, he did disappear. Mr. Pierce, again, yeah. that's an unkind thing. Right. I understand that you're trying to make a statement, but that statement says, I don't care about your feelings. You say that you have suspicions that he's been cheating. He came in one night and he was drunk and stumbling around at three in the morning and he smelled like cheap perfume. Some friends I have are women and I give them a hug and so that's gonna brush off on me. One night he called me somebody else's name. Called me Missy. Who's Missy? Miss Sylvia, when did this drinking to excess, at least in your opinion, start? About eight months ago, when his hours were cut at work, okay, um, he started drinking more. And then I was suspecting him, because um, I just keep catching him in these outrageous lies. So one night I followed him, and I followed him to a bar. And he got out, and I saw him spray cologne on himself, and I confronted him in the parking lot. I said, what's going on, Todd? And he's like, Oh, I'm picking up some extra hours at the bar and I'm helping out. He's always helping somebody out. That's his excuse. And Mr. Pierce, was this a new job or was this a new opportunity for romance? <laughs> no, it, okay, so because of COVID, things like that, I've lost a lot of work hours. So I have a friend who has a bar. I go there once in a while to have a couple of drinks. He told me, hey, if you want to help me out around the bar here a little bit, I can give you some money here and there, but it's not a regular job or a paycheck, and that's why I can't bring her the kind of money I used to. I didn't tell her because I know she hates it, and I know she hates me drinking it and just maybe alcohol altogether, so the fact that I'm there working is probably not good enough for her. And Miss Sylvia, you say that you have suspicions that he's been cheating. Yes, I do. But is it just a suspicion or do you have proof? Let me hear. I have proof, Your Honor. I was making the bed and I found three blonde, long blonde hairs on your side of the bed. You found three long blonde hairs. Mr. Pierce, how did three long blonde hairs get in your bed? It was from a wig that I wore when we did a gender swap night at the bar. Ooh, y'all just I'm be... just trying to imagine that and I can't. Y'all hey. just be partying at that bar, that, don't thank you? you. Well, That's yeah, all I mean, he does a, is party. It's a very popular, it's a very popular bar, a sports bar. Um, I think that I think that she's prejudiced against anything that I say. So I can't say something that's true, mm -hmm. okay? And I can't skirt an issue to try and avoid the, the accusation. Because you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. Miss Sylvia, the three long blonde hairs, he has an explanation. I'm just going to let that explanation lie there. What else? Because that's not enough to make you say okay. that this man is cheating. I'll tell you something else he did. He came in 
one night and he was drunk and stumbling around at three in the morning. He was supposed to have done a shift at work and he smelled like cheap perfume, which I only wear $60 to $120 perfume and that was some kind of fruity body spray. I don't know what that was, but it was cheap. Kat, there's people everywhere in a bar, okay? I have friends that come in. Some friends I have are women. Believe it or not, it's okay for me to have friends that are women. And I give them a hug, and so that's gonna brush off on me. I'm Mr. sure Pierce, that let's my... Call it, let's call it as we see it, sir. Are you cheating? No. You had a niece come and visit, and she's here today, Ms. Sylvia. Let's ask some tough questions. All right. Does Mr. Pierce drink to excess? Yes. I ended up going to a bar with a couple of friends, and I hear, Toddy, yaddy, 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 yaddy. And I look back behind the bar, and there's Todd. If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Missed a show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. Miss Sylvia, do you think, I mean, seriously, do you think this man is cheating with other women? Not just an accusation. Do you think he's seeing other women? Yes, I do, because one night he called me somebody else's name. <laughs> As he was slurring his endearments toward me, called me Missy. I don't know any, I don't go by Missy. Who's Missy? I live in Colorado, we call people Missy. Hey, Missy, come on over here. Uh, hey, little fella, hey, son, hey, buddy. I just was like, Missy, come on over here, let's talk about it. She thought I was calling her someone's name. I don't know a Missy. He's always got a good excuse. Well, it actually sounds like a pretty decent excuse to me. That really? One. I'm, I, I don't is, know him. When isn't an excuse and when is it the truth? When can I don't it know be the anymore, truth? Todd. That's the thing. And I don't know with you anymore. You, you know can't... what? I'm going to need an independent person because I can't determine who's telling the truth and who's not. I understand that you had a niece come and visit Miss Sylvia. Is that correct? That is correct. And she's here today. And her name is Angela, correct? Yes. Robert, can you please ask Angela to join us? Sure. <sighs> Miss Sylvia, nice to see you. Nice to see you too, Judge. Thank you very much for coming in. I understand that you are the niece of the plaintiff, Ms. Sylvia, today, and you actually stayed in their home. I did. Tell me what you saw so that I can get a handle on what's going on in their relationship. There was a lot of tension. Um, I no went to stay. Kidding. <laughs> yeah. I went to stay for a few weeks and they just argued and bickered all the time. There is nothing worse than being visiting in someone's home and being in the middle of their back and forth constantly. It was so hard. So I'm gonna ask you some tough questions and they're both here and they both agreed that you could come and testify. So let's ask some tough questions. All right. Does Mr. Pierce drink to excess? Yes. And to what do you attribute that? It just, it just really seemed to go downhill from the loss of his job, honestly. And, and Mr. Pierce and I, we just discussed that. Um, how has Ms. Silva responded to that? Because that's an issue, but it's an issue that couples have gone through and they usually try to work it through. Well, it's an issue that she has dealt with before. So drinking is definitely a sore spot for her. It, it is not something that she's comfortable with and can, can be extra sensitive to drinking. Mr. Pierce, did you know that about Miss Sylvia's previous relationship? Yes, and it makes sense. There was another incident while I was there visiting. Yes. So I ended up going to a bar with a couple of friends and the, this, the song comes on, uh, Megan Thee Stallion, so uh -huh. body yaddy, right? So mm -hmm. the DJ comes on and I hear it, and it's like a remix though. And I hear, toddy yaddy 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 yaddy. Um, and I look back behind the bar, and there's Todd <laughs> at the bar. I hadn't seen him before because he had a blonde wig on. So I called my aunt, of course, right away. I called her like, oh my gosh, you wouldn't believe this. Todd is here, he's got a wig on. Like I had known about the hair before, so I wanted her to see it. He told the truth. I tried to tell her. And so when I got back home, of course, we're in an argument because she doesn't want to believe 
me. She thinks I'm taking Todd's side. There's a picture of a big, tall man in a blonde wig. I see that photo. I have not seen that before, and I'm... I don't even know what to say. I mean, I'm gonna give Mr. Pierce the benefit of the doubt on this one, because no sane man in the world is gonna let me see this picture if this is not <laughs> what he actually had on, okay? <laughs> Mr. Pierce has embarrassed himself in front of me. <laughs> I mean, honestly, this is where the blonde hairs probably came from. Maybe. 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 See? Can you give him the benefit no. of the doubt? I help? try, I try, but there's just been so many incidents. Ms. Silva, thank you so very much for bringing some insight into this. I appreciate it. Thank I you. really thank do. You. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Pierce, Ms. Silva has issues. Yeah, she's she's holding my dogs hostage. Oh wait, the dogs? Yeah, I've okay, got. Okay, now y'all, now y'all gonna make me put my hand on my knife. Now you can't put dogs in it. You know I don't like that. Because <laughs> well, what's I, going on with the dogs? I love my dogs, and they I love know the me, feeling. You know, and um, I feed them, I walk them, I do everything for them. You can't be more obsessed with your dog than I am. You know, well, uh, we could talk about that. I know how much dogs mean. As a matter of fact, I have evidence of my own. Robert, may I have the evidence, please? Oh sure. Oh, look. Mm-hmm. There, there's Pepper. That's my girl. And Glitter is a little... She's about this big. She's a little uh, miniature chihuahua oh. with long hair. This is my evidence Aww. of why no. dog mean the most to me, okay? Oh. Meet Mimi. Hi, Mimi. This is Mimi. So, what are you doing with the dogs? The dogs are safer with me right now. Uh, Todd's really unstable, and I don't think he can take care of them properly. I mean, he's living on a couch right now. Why is he and living on a couch, Because I kicked Sylvia. him out of the condo. The thing is, I miss my dogs. They've gotten me through a lot of hard times. And I don't think that they take up that much room. So what would you be prepared to do to take care of your dogs? Everything. I'll even cut my drinking in half for them. Oh, but not for me? Do you think that this relationship can last, Mr. Pierce? I think that she's got to understand that everything coming out of my mouth isn't a lie. She's no, but everything that. going into your mouth is the problem. Right now is the alcohol. Mrs. Sylvia, let, let me be very clear. The man that you love suffered a trauma. The loss of his job really took a toll. And it's clear to me that he turned to alcohol as his solace. I'm not gonna be able to tell you to cut back on your drinking. You're gonna have to want to cut back on your drinking because I'll tell you what else that'll do. It'll help you get a job because nobody wants to hire a drunk. I never drank when I was working uh, prior to COVID. I never... So why don't you take a 30-day reprieve from having any drink and put those 30 days in the focus on getting a gig? Okay, I would be willing to do that. Miss Sylvia? Todd can get his life together, and I hope he does for the sake of the dogs, but I'm through with this relationship, All right, then I want my ring back. Where's my ring? I flushed it down the toilet, Todd. So you flushed the ring down the toilet? I did. So I, was I also really mad think at him. when that you flushed that the ring blonder. down the toilet, Mimi, what you think? Oh. When you flushed that ring down the toilet, I bet you flushed the relationship down the toilet also. The relationship's done. Let's go, honey. You're not gonna get the dogs talk. Look, I have raised those dogs since they were I'm not gonna give them to you. Well, what are you gonna flush them down the toilet? At, like the judge said, after 30 days, if you can straighten up, I'll give them back to you. You know, there is nothing like this dog. <laughs> she knows she's ready for her close-up. But Robert, I don't think I could take it if somebody was holding my dog hostage. Mm -hmm. What was funny is that toddy yaddy 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 I know, exactly. <laughs> but unfortunately, what's not funny is losing the job. Right? It's time for him to get his butt in gear, and I love the fact that he said, I'm willing to work on me for 30 days. Yes. And they can be separate for a while. Mm -hmm. That relationship is done. Yeah, I think so. Right, Mimi? It's time. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>